Hey guys, um, I want to talk about the Louisiana sinkhole in this video. I don't have that much time, but nevertheless, this is information that people really need to get. I know I've got several subscribers down there in Louisiana, and uh, they've been reporting various information. But the simple fact of the matter is, th that area there where that sinkhole is, that part of Louisiana is literally beginning to sink. And... I don't know if it's going to continue to sink or, or exactly what the situation is going to be. Uh, they've put seismic monitors. You can go over here and watch this video. I'll link you to it uh, uh, at the Bayou Corn site. Uh, so because of the amount of tremors that they're experiencing as the sinkhole continues to push uh, toward the north and toward the west. And the situation is pretty serious. Uh, there's bubbling going on in lakes in the area apart and away from the actual sinkhole. There's bubbling and boiling going on in the sinkhole itself. Uh, this, the uh, waters have raised above fences, have edged all the way up to the roads. Uh, a lot of things are going on in Louisiana. And I mean a lot of things. And it's the information is being blocked out. So I'll link you to this video. You can go and watch it yourself. Hold on, though. Let's take a look at some other things. Uh, stay smart brought this link up and it's a pretty decent link you guys might want to hydrocarbons breaching sinkhole cavern bottom now the bottom of the cavern uh, has been breached and it says right here uh, the bottom obviously had infiltration from somewhere that originally wasn't there originally it was brine okay the bottom of the sinkhole keep that in mind uh, Assumption Parish Sinkhole appears to be heading toward another lake uh, Pignure catastrophe that is still wreaking havoc among locals but not receiving needed recognition or aid. Down here, according to the locals, the entire one mile by three mile Napoleonville salt dome housing housing the felling cavern is sinking. Again guys, sinking. Over here is another article, and I'll put these links down below. Uh, Cinco evacuees anxious to return home. Uh, they're wanting to come home. And you've got... Uh, obviously, this is a lot more complex than, what, than I would have ever thought, and even the scientists are finding it very complex. Assumption Parish President Marty Triche uh, told the crowd. Forgive me if I get the names wrong, guys. This is very. This is a very serious situation because we don't call mandatory evacuations very lightly. But I don't think you all would want us to end the evacuation just so we can say the evacuation is over. We want to have some level of confidence that people can be safe. You guys can come down and read through this article. Uh, there's a couple of very good points in here. It says we observed some additional bubbles at T-Lock yesterday. Um, confirmed the new findings at 5.30 p.m. reporting the bubbling site number 17 has been identified in T-Lock Canal between Bayou Corn and Pierre Park. So this thing is continuing to spread. It's sinking at the same time. There's earthquakes ahead of it and in it. Seismic type activity going on. In other words, the ground is shifting. Either the, the salt domes are, are shifting or the methane and butane and all the other gases that they've got uh, stored in there are, are, are moving around. Something's going on over there, and this thing is continuing to spread. There's seismic activity, and it's sinking. Now, keep all that in mind while you think back to the Gulf oil spill when when the platform blew up, and you had they could not, you know, the, the amount of pressure was extreme down there. Uh, just consider that that millions of barrels of oil under the ocean floor down there in the Gulf of Mexico were. Uh, w w was pressurized and pushed up into the Gulf of Mexico. So there's a cavern down below under the ocean down there. There's a cavern where that oil which was which is and was under extreme pressure. There's still a cavern down there somewhere down there there is a cavern. Wherever remember that oil that before they pierced the crust of the earth and made a relief spot for the pressure to release itself and the oil to come forth all that oil was contained and you know the earth above that oil was sitting on top of the oil and that's what's creating like a pressure 
So when that oil, when, when millions and millions and millions of barrels of oil are removed from that extremely huge cavern in the Gulf of Mexico, all of a sudden the ground itself becomes weak. Things start shifting. Things start moving. So here we are on the uh, Google Earth, and you had the oil spill down here, and now you've got the sinkhole that is spreading and moving to the north and toward the west. You've got seismic activity, and you've got sinking taking place. Guys, I don't know, you know, what what exactly is taking place. I'm not sure that anybody genuinely knows what's taking place. But like I said, you've had all this pressure that was down below the crust of the earth down here in the Gulf that when all that oil was released up into the Gulf, the cavern under the ground is still there and it's a void. And in my opinion, what's happening is these salt domes are collapsing down on themselves, down sinking downward into the ground, trying to fill that void that was created. And remember that there's a brand new oil slick in the Gulf of Mexico that the oil well, you know, is still leaking. And if if it's not the same exact well that was leaking, there's still yet another well or a whole new well has formed or a whole new pressure release point has formed and again oil is leaking so that oil situation that BP oil spill you know never was fully corrected to this very day the amount of pressure down there I mean it, you know it's really and truly beyond man's ability to patch that but they've done you know whatever they've done down there and you know there's but even after the fact that they you know they said hey we finally got it capped and all this stuff uh, nobody knows if we were looking at the actual live well that was really and truly spewing out millions of gallons or if we were looking at uh, some other secondary well and they just showed that it was uh, capped off or, or exactly what. We don't know any of that information factually unless you were a part of that operation. But we do know that when they, when they finally said, okay, we've got it capped, we do know that even though that they said that, we still had other areas, other new holes that were forming and spewing out oil and other things from from beneath the crust of the earth even after they had that that uh, main well cap so in other words it was still continuing to leak just in new areas the pressure is extreme down there now the reason why I'm bringing all this up is because if you notice guys that these the Navy future map that everybody used to talk about but don't really talk about anymore it shows that the bulk of Louisiana is underwater as well as part of Texas, all the way up through the New Madrid, and then eventually actually uh, connecting all the way up to Lake Michigan. So, uh, you know, whether or not these future maps are true or not, guys, nobody absolutely and genuinely knows. We know that the Navy came out with these maps. We don't know that, you know, if it was uh, just a prediction, if it, if it was based on fact, if it was based on something they knew and understood, or if it was just uh, possibilities based on different things uh, happening. So, um, you know, like in this map, it shows Atlantis and, and Lemuria and all these places, you know, places that literally, you know, may or may not exist and, and so forth and so on. But the point of the matter is when they came out with these maps, Louisiana was one of the areas that was shown to be uh, underwater. And with that cavern or with that oil release, guys, and now the salt dome collapsing and spreading and seismic activity and sinking, um, it's really not looking good guys I mean you're talking about a one heck of an event this is a huge 2012 event now this isn't a, a video that I'm putting out for the 2012 versus jump all over because it has nothing to do with uh, 2012 or the end of the, of the world or anything of that nature uh, but anyways guys my point in this video is you know there's a lot of facts the, here's the facts the facts are uh, certain parts of Louisiana are absolutely sinking it's a proven fact now. Uh, we also know for a fact that uh, the water around Bayou Corn and that area in, is starting to boil, and, and as well as in, a, in, in some lakes in that area, they're starting to boil. We also know that the sinkhole is spreading, and we also know, these are all facts, guys, we also know that the sinkhole is spreading, and we also know that the gas pressure is pushing westward, and we know that they are having con pretty pretty consistent seismic activity. We also know for a fact that people have been evacuated from the area. So, guys, this is a massive, massive event that's going on in Louisiana. Now, what the end of this is going to be, I don't know. Okay, I'm just saying that this literally could be the beginning of this uh, channel coming in all the way up through the New Madrid. 
I don't know that it is, and I'm not stating that it is. I'm stating, guys, that this situation that's going on in Louisiana is a very, very serious situation. If you live in Louisiana, I'm sure you're absolutely fully aware of it. I would be paying attention to any kind of data uh, as far as uh, elevation. Any kind of data that you can get your hands on concerning elevations, because if you see your area beginning to sink, it's time to move and get out of there. Okay. In the meanwhile, remember that all these salt domes, you know, they they they, they take the liquid in there and they they get the salt out, then they fill it with butane or methane or propane or oil or 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 any of the various things, natural gas, whatever. They they fill it up with these gases and then they cap them and then it becomes a well that are several thousand feet deep and several hundred feet wide. So or several thousand feet wide, just depending on the size of the original salt dome. So you're talking about you know a debt if something were to ignite and I like I said I do like I've said before in other videos I do not know if you put an ignition source to that butane and methane and natural gas and oil and what have you if you put an ignition source to it I don't know that there would be an actual explosion because it doesn't have access to oxygen it's, it's, it's contained under the ground so I don't know exactly if you would have like a nuclear event in other words kablooey and Louisiana simply wouldn't exist anymore or, you know, if there would be absolutely no event upon ignition, because I just don't know what would happen when these caverns are several thousand feet below the ground. I'm not sure that anybody actually knows what would happen. Uh, oxygen can't quite get to it, so an actual explosion would be a difficult thing to, to happen. However, sinking with the earthquakes and the salt domes collapsing and the, the void under, under the Gulf of Mexico from where the, the oil was released, and oil still leaking to this day, as we've been as as has been confirmed so guys just just keep in mind that if you live in Louisiana you really need to be paying attention to elevation seismic activity and the expansion as well as where the boiling is taking place boiling water means heat which means there's extreme pressure something's going on to heat that water to the point of boiling now it could be a natural spring under the ground or something of that nature as well I don't know again there's a lot that I don't know but all I'm saying is that between the Gulf of Mexico, Louisiana, the New Madrid, you know, this map now is looking like an actual possibility at this point. Now, up to before the Louisiana sinkhole, this really didn't look or appear to be a possibility. There wasn't nothing to trigger such an event that would create this channel through the United States. Now, we do have something in place that could create that event, and so now it is something that we do need to talk about this 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 um, vo this this channel that could be split to the United States. So, guys, again, just keep this all in mind. You know, stay on the fact part of it. You know, the sinking, um, the 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 sinkhole spreading, the gas pressures going westward, their seismic activity, so forth and so on, bubbling in the waters and and, and what have you. Stay with the facts part of it, but um, keep your eyes on what's going on over there in Louisiana. Heads up in Louisiana. A constant and continual heads up in Louisiana, because um, because I I honestly just don't know what's going to happen over there. I just know that at this point now, between the Gulf of Mexico, the sinkhole, the New Madrid, there is this map has now become an actual possibility in this part of the map, guys. In this part of the map, okay. The flooding in the mountains and all that kind of stuff, you'd have to have a collapse of the mountains, you'd have to have earthquakes, you'd have to have uh, volcanic activity that releases all the uh, lava from the cauldrons so that there's a void under the ground so the mountain can collapse on itself. And there's, I mean, there's, there'd have to be a lot of activity going on or, or a leak in the cauldron to where the, the lava comes out of the cauldron and makes it out into the ocean, creating the void, whatever, for in order for it to collapse. So this side over here, at this point, you know, I, I'm not too too concerned about you know, but this now has an an actual genuine possibility in a real life scenario that's taking place here and now today. Um, also, if you notice that on this map where where the uh, where the water's coming into Mexico and Baja California and California, this is where all of our large earthquakes have been taking place here, or, or big earthquakes, I should say, anywhere from uh, upper or low sixes to uh, low sevens all throughout this entire area here so just keep that in mind guys as well if you live in the Mexico area but right now again uh, this thing ha this area here actually has a possibility in a real-life scenario here and now today 
this this channel right here because of the the the, uh, the BP oil disaster the catastrophe and and then the, the Louisiana Cinco catastrophe as well as you have the new Madrid sitting there so the three of them combined in real life real time today actually now make this an actual genuine possibility so guys get in the word stay in the word get the word in you everything's foretold in scripture as far as events that are going to be taking place and and and, and be prepared and and you can survive anything that's coming to pass according to the scriptures so guys i love you i'll talk with you guys soon just keep in mind with you know what's going on in louisiana to stick with the factual side of it guys the only reason i'm bringing up this map which i don't even really believe in this map nevertheless the only reason I'm bringing it up is because this little section right here is a genuine possibility at this point now you got a massive cavern or something's going on below the Gulf of Mexico perhaps that's where all this stuff in Louisiana is sinking you know maybe that's where it's all going is working its way toward the Gulf of Mexico I don't know guys no one knows at this point in fact uh, scientists are confused it's a very complex situation you're dealing with uh, multiple assault uh, domes that have been capped and, and become storage devices uh, for explosives and um, oil and, and, and various things you've got boiling like I said guys it's a very 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 serious situation and I just want everybody to be aware of it and to keep it in mind anywhere from literally Indiana Illinois through Missouri Arkansas Louisiana even parts of Texas I mean you know as this thing per continues to push west that's which way the gas pressure is moving it's westward as well as the seismic activity so you know heads up on the eastern side of, of Texas as well so but anyways guys I gotta get off here I, I really would like to get into a lot more detail on this but just the time is it's just not here for me right now so just you know big time heads up for Louisiana specifically this thing has just progressively gotten gotten worse it has not by any means gotten better at any point throughout this entire event and this is a long-term event that just con continues to keep going keeps intensifying keeps getting worse so you know keep your eyes going uh, on what's going on over there i'll talk to you guys soon